Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live from Pole Position. Uh, beta Test Central, it might as well be called, man. Check it out, man. I'm convinced that we are beta testing right now, 2K18. And I'm going to tell you, well, I'm going to cut right to the chase number that's going to let you guys get... Look at all these polls. I mean, look, last week, Mike Wong, this is the Twitter of Mike Wong. This is not a poll... Uh, um, uh, what are the, what are those, those monkey poses or whatever that you have it working those silly things like that? It's not that. This is Mike Wong's Twitter. But what I was what I was going to say is, last week Mike uh, he he put out something saying that you know he was testing some stuff for uh, you know trying to get ready or trying to test some things as far as 2K18 goes. When did they do that for 16 or 17? Did they make some changes in 2K15 that I wasn't aware of and said, we, we, well, we just wanted to see how it was going to impact 2K16? Uh, Did they make changes in 2K16 and say, well, we were just getting ready for 2K17? I don't recall that happening. Hey, I wasn't in the community then. Maybe you guys remember it. If you did, just let me know down in the comments. But I think that we are right now beta testing 2K18. You can't convince me otherwise. Why are we making this, this number of changes this frequently, this late in the game, uh, that's number one. Number two is, I don't think that they could get a game, create a game from the ground up that's gonna be esports ready in uh in nine months or twelve months or whatever they you know whatever they get to do it. I, I don't believe that it's possible. I think that what they're doing right now is that they're, they're going to take this game that we already have and um and it's really gonna be a carbon copy. Uh, Eighteen is gonna be a carbon copy of seventeen. They may change some of the uh, they may change some of the, the archetypes. They may change how the archetypes work or what have you. But I think the core of the game is gonna be the same. But uh, you know, and and the proof of that, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, man. I just don't understand why on earth we're still making changes to this game at this point. Why can't we just leave the game how it is? I mean, for, first off, I, shooting to me, shooting to me, it's all the same. I mean, I'm like. It didn't bother me when they changed it at the beginning of the year. I was putting out videos trolling about. I mean, it didn't bother me at the end of the year. It didn't bother me. It never has bothered me. Shooting the way that they, nothing that they did to shooting all year was nothing that I couldn't adjust to. I don't care. Okay. The only thing about shooting that bothers me is that people that shouldn't be able to make shots consistently. You wide open, you should make that shot sometimes, but you shouldn't be able to make that shot consistently. People that shouldn't make these shots are consistently making them. Hey, they got the skill to do it, whatever. I don't care because I can still shoot. It never was too hard. It never was too easy, uh, except for on PlayStation. When I went to PlayStation, I was shooting like 83% or something like that. I, I didn't miss over there. On Xbox, though, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It is what it is. But let's go through some of these tweets, man. Check it out. We got the first thing. Getting a lot of mixed feedback. Tell me how. Tell me how you feel about shooting. Let me know what mode you're taking. What mode you're talking about? Uh, too, if you can. Okay. Look to me. I don't give a fuck. They didn't put that down there as an option, so I can't choose it. I don't care. Leave it like it is. Change it. I. I, I don't care. I'm gonna adjust. I'm not gonna change my jump shot. I'm gonna use Paul George to the end. You can't make me not use this shot. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, you can change the release point, it doesn't matter. I will eventually figure it out and I will continue to use my same jump shot. I don't care. A lot of people wanted to know what jump shot I use. That's what I use, I use Paul George. I'll do a jump shot video tomorrow if y'all want me to. Uh, just let me know down in the comments. So check it out. Pro-Am shooting should be more, more sim. Uh, Pro-Am shooting should be more sim. Shooting percentage is too high. True or false? I mean, who cares? If we want it to be Sim, you can't make this game Sim, number one. If it's going to be more Sim, then everybody's going to be shooting around 40%. 40%, 45% is an excellent shooting percentage in the NBA or in real life. I mean, half of you bum-ass niggas is watching this video can't even go out there and make three out of ten from the three-point line. I can't. But you know what I'm saying? I'm, the point that I'm trying to make is... That, that we don't want a sim game if I'm open, if it's a good shot, it should be a high percentage, 80 or above. If it's a bad shot, it should be 30, 25 or below. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. Contested shots should go in with a lot less frequency than wide open shots. I guarantee if you check Steph Curry's wide open shot percentage, he's shooting well above 80%. But I'm getting off topic. We don't care right now. Shooting archetypes should be boosted. 
non-shooting bills nerfed. I mean, I think that's what I was talking about earlier in the thing. I, I, I wish they would take, if you're a shooter, I, I don't care, leave it alone. I don't care about, uh, I don't care about, about, um, what do you call the playmakers hitting step back jumpers. If you close out on it, they're gonna miss. I don't care about sharpshooters making shots when you get there late. If you close out late, like the late closeouts affect the playmakers way more and any other art type way more than they affect sharpshooters. Sharpshooter, you need literally three feet and it's good. If you're if you're good at the game, you need three feet and it's good. You don't have to run behind screens. I don't need to do all that other stuff. Give me three feet and I'm good. You give me five. I'm great. You give me 10, it's trades up. Trades up, splash down. But you know, it is what it is. I, I don't really care about this. I just I just think that people with less than 50, 50 shot or 60 shot, less than 70, I think that 70, you should be damn near in full control of whether you hit or, hit or miss. And I believe that if you're below 70, it's, it's really up to the game engine's percentages. You know, I mean, is it a good shot? Is it not? You know, that's 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 how I feel about it. Like, I, I got a 94.3. I mean, I'm in full control. If I hit, I hit. If I miss, I miss. I feel like I'm in full control. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, what percentage should a great shooter, a great shooter with great timing, uh, shoot when open? I mean, that's 80 to 100%, I feel like. But look, this is the thing. What y'all don't understand is, I played basketball my whole life. 40% is a good shot percentage. But when you're in open gym, for you to say, yo, that dude can shoot, he needs to hit like 80% in open gym, right? If he's open, in open gym, that's that's what you got to hit. It, the dude's got to hit and feel like he never misses for you to be like, dang, that guy can shoot. Somebody come in shooting eight out of, I mean, four out of 10 in open gym, three out of 10. You're like, what? Yo, this dude can't, can't shoot so... It, the, the rules are different, man. It is what it is. I just wish they would lead, lead the game along. And last but not least, uh, last poll for the day. Uh, bump up, open shot, drop contested, uh, both or neither. The only thing that I really see a problem with, they can really leave everything like it is. Just tone down the contested mid-ranges. Those are the those are really the only problem with the game. Now I do understand that the court is only like this big, so they have to they can't really tone down the contested mid range because you wouldn't be able to shoot a mid range because everybody can close out. But that's not my fault. I never had problems with shooting mid ranges, but that's what I've always told people with this game. You damn near have to be trying to miss a mid range in order to miss it. You're not gonna hit all. You're not gonna miss many threes, but you're not gonna miss any mid ranges if you're a sharpshooter. But that's just how it is, man. I don't know. I mean. We are really beta testing this game, and, and, and they are really getting this thing ready for 2K18. You can't convince me otherwise. I really feel like I need a check. I need a hat that says 2K beta tester. Maybe that's what I'm going to do, man. The next time y'all see me, I'm going to have a hat on that says 2K beta tester. Or that's what I'm going to put in my background. Uh, hashtag 2K beta tester on Twitter, man, because that's what we all are. I don't know. Leave shooting alone. Change it. Do whatever you're going to do. Do whatever you want to do, because that's what you're going to do. Mike, Mr. Wong, whatever. Just don't just don't ban my account and uh, don't break my jump shots again. As you can see, I've shot well over 60% that for the year. I rarely miss on stream. I have those games like I put up earlier where, well, I missed a couple, but what you guys see on my channel, that's what I am. I mean, I shoot like that all the time. So it's not like, you know, when you see me, I'm, I'm, I, I'm having my best game. Now that's what I do all the time. I mean, I'm like four out of six, damn near all the time. So I mean, obviously, sometimes you're gonna have bad games, obviously, right? But I'm, I'm, I'm about four out of six for the most part all the time. Anyway, man, I had y'all know y'all had enough of this, man. I'm about to get up out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you feel like a beta tester or not? And I'm gonna catch y'all late next time. So till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barber Shop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And I'm about to go see X-Men 18, a.k.a. Fast and the Furious uh, 8 or whatever it is, man. You know, that, that shit like X-Men now, so. But I'm out of y'all. If y'all want to see that vlog, y'all let me know. I'm out of here. Peace.